This one's slightly off topic, yeah? Yeah. But why does why do you all say scrolls instead of books? Oh, okay. Because in the old times, um, that's what things were written in scrolls. They were rolled up and then they used to pull them out. Even if you see like old like Victorian movies where the king is sending information to someone, they have them in a scroll and then they pull it out and read it. Um, and originally, most of the recordings were written in papyruses, you awesome. know, in ancient. Oh, um, in Egypt, um, before paper was kind of popular in, in the Western world, they were writing on papyrus, which is like um, made from natural, like, let's say, leaves. Um, but it was put together and they could write on it before paper. And um, in ancient times as well, they talk about tablets, you know, like Moses had the Ten Commandments on a tablet. Um, and, and again, that was really ancient technology, which has become a tablet that Apple have come out with now. But um, ancient technology for the extraterrestrials, because they're so far advanced that a lot of the technologies that we have today, we think is new, but it's actually not. Um, they've got levels of technology way, way beyond what we have. So when, yeah. when they're saying tablet, they, they meant an electronic type of tablet, yeah. like what we have today, like iPad. Yeah, they're called um, the Me Stones. Yeah, so the me stones were crystals. They were actually made of crystals, and they show you in the movies as well, because crystals have the ability to hold a lot of information. So, like Akasha records, or even like um, what people call the Kama Sutra. The Kama Sutra is a red me stone. Like uh, the best way of explaining this is: did you, did you ever watch the movie Superman? No. All right. So I know it though. yeah, yeah. In the movie it. Superman, yeah. which is actually a very good story of explaining what happened before beings came to this planet. But uh, in the movie Superman, um, their planet was being destroyed and they put the baby, the mother and father put Superman, the baby, into a little craft and sent him to Earth. But they put these crystals in, in his um, craft. And then obviously he crashed into the planet and then um, Clark, um, the Kent, the, the people that found him, they basically waited till he grew up and then he went to the like Antarctic and he threw this crystal and when he threw the crystal, like a whole city came up and then he, he was able to get the whole story, all the information that his dad and his mum put for him. Yeah, it's like that. So that's a way of you can look at it. And now they're using even like the new um, processors on computers, they're using like melanin. Because melanin... What, sorry? Melanin. Melanin. Like yeah. what's in the skin? Yeah. Okay. Uh, melanin is in everything. It's just that we, as Negroes, um, we we reproduce it a lot. So we that's why we we we're very highly pigmented, yeah, and that's why we're dark. But you have neuromelanin. You have melanin in everything on the planet. But it's very it's a high resistant. It, when you start studying melanin and what it can do, now they're using it as um, to use as you know like processes or information to hold more information. So, yeah, but crystals and melanin, because we are actually crystal beings as well. And what, they're, they're using that in computers? Yeah, yeah, like, like you know quantum computers now? Yeah. Yeah, like, because um, if you've ever followed the evolution of technology, especially computers, you know what I mean? Like, each generation of processors, they get, like, faster and faster, and the amount of memory, that even memory, like RAM and, st like, everything's getting smaller and smaller, but it can hold more and more information because a lot of it is light information. Light? Yeah. yeah. Like what information is recorded on light, photons. Oh, like what you're saying about it can be converted into images. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Okay.